Now then, my friends, with everybody not allowed to travel everywhere, lots of people are doing staycations in the UK. And there is a large amount of people I've seen on my channel saying, yeah, we're stopping in the UK this year, we're not going abroad. So I'm trying to do different places. I've done Blackpool, I've done Whitby, I've done Scarborough, and today we're actually in another famous seaside town. And it was made famous by Chaz and Dave, because they sang us a little song and he gives a little... Ah, don't forget your Costa Bravo. I'm telling you, mate, I'd rather have a day down Margate with all my family. That's it, we're in Margate, <laughs> yeah. And in fact, this station here, we're outside Margate Station because we've come down from London. Uh, it was in Only Falls and Horses, a scene in Only Falls and Horses. It was wasn't uh, it? the scene where they were uh, deciding where to stay for the night because it was a bank holiday weekend and their coach had broke down. I remember it well. <laughs> yeah. tr uh, Triggy got the... Triggy uh, had the dolphin under his arm, didn't he? That's it, so I was super excited to take a look around Margate. And I tell you what, I've never been down here. It, 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 there's not a cloud in the sky. There literally isn't. The weather is fantastic. It's a great feeling. I can't wait to look around. We're going to take you guys with us. We're going to go to the fair as well, which is called Dreamland, is it? Dreamland, yeah. yeah. 19, well, back in the 1920s, that goes back, and it's the... Um, oldest roller coaster in the UK. There you go, it's still wooden, isn't it? Still it's a wooden, wooden roller coaster. Yeah. And uh, music, guys, he got his music loud enough. So basically, he get, well, well, I'll keep talking so we don't get a strike from some guy who's uh, he's loving it, isn't he? Eh? He's loving it. He's loving it. Yeah, go on there, man. Yeah, can, can you hear that? Um, <laughs> he's probably got one of them big bass speakers in the back. Yeah. There we go, he's having a good time. Anyway, we're going to take a look around Margate. We're going to go on the fairground. The roller coaster is actually closed. Um, it is, it's been refurbed, so it's opening in 2022. Yeah, but we'll yeah. see it. We're going to go on a few rides. We're going to take you on the rides with us because I've got my little Insta360 camera. It's going to be fun. You know what I'm like on, on <laughs> fairground rides. I'm not good with fairground rides. Anyway, come on, we're babbling on. Let's take a look around. We've got three hours to have a quick look around Margate and uh, see what it's all about before we head, we head off again. We're going to take you guys with us. Don't forget, if you're new to the channel, by the way, to click that subscribe button and hit that little bell, pa-ding, of when I upload new videos. I'm also on Instagram, which is down there if you like watching like pictures and photos and stuff. This guy is also on YouTube. I should put his link at the end. Are we ready now? Yeah. Okay then, so without further ado, Let's go! Okay, my friends, so right behind me here, we've got Westbrook Beach. We've got our own tour guide here. We've got Darren, who lived down here for many, many years. Lots of stories to tell. A few of them can't tell on camera. I have to tell them off camera. What do you reckon? Yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe. We're going to take a walk from here. It's a lovely beach there. Got lots of beach huts. It looks really, really good. Is there any people down there, though, do you reckon, with a little hanky on the head? The old knotted hanky. With the old knotted hanky. It looks that kind of place there. Really, really cool. We're going to take a walk down the seafront. About a mi mile, half a mile? Yeah, not even half a mile. It's just there. You got you see the harbour, uh, Margate Harbour in the distance, and then you've got the Turner Centre, which was famously opened by Tracy Emin, who was the 60s, 70s um, artist from yep. London. Yep. Uh, she spent a lot of time in Margate, so she's got some of her work there as well. And you've got Dreamland, we're going to be going and get some donuts and candy floss and yeah, yeah we're going to enjoy it. We're going to be having it large. <laughs> now, what, now normally I do have fish and chips in the place I'm going to, but we're not going to do that today because we're off to Ramsgate at the end of this yeah. and we're going to go to a really, really cool um, seaside restaurant and uh, we're going to go and have fish and chips there. So we're going to take you guys with us. So don't go away. Stay with us, guys. And come on, onwards, my friends.
watching stars align Days of making sweet honey Melissa Lemon Balm Nights as warm as your breath on my chest See, hotel up there looks a bit derelict I have to say It is now it used to be great in its day, the Nayland Rock Hotel. Maiden? Nayland Rock. Nayland? Yeah. The Nayland Rock Hotel. I bet them rooms could tell some stories. No comment. <laughs> Come on, onwards my friends. Here, a little statue. Let's have a look. Oh, here we go. To the memory of William Philpot Cook Senior. Here, look, have a look. Now my only issue is how I get down. Hang on a minute, you hold the camera. You got it? Job. Here we go. This was easier when I was younger, by the way. There was less weight on impact. Oh, here we go. That was a lot easier when I was younger. Why you've got that low in? Yeah. What do you normally say in between takes? Uh, what, onwards. Onwards, my. <laughs> hey, that's me. Look, pointing. That's me. <laughs> Now then, before we go any further, you tell me a little story here. Just out here, if we just come to, to the end of here, to the pier, um, there's a little like, uh, what is that? It's like a little pool thing, it's isn't it? Pool, yeah. Outdoor pool, look. Lido, is it? Lido? No, the Lido is further up, but yeah, because what, in its day, um, on stilts above this pool, used to be uh, something called the sun deck. And it was like, almost, it's like a pier but it was an arcade and everything was half a pence. It was a halfpenny arcade. It was brilliant. Oh, what, were you, what year was that, that? 70s, 80s? Yeah, and I think they took it down in the noughties because I think it was getting old and decrepit, so they, they took it down because it was unsafe, but it was great back in the day. Just take a look. Hey Darren, fancy a cocktail? <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know what that means, then you need to watch the other video that I did about having cocktails in a public toilet. I'll put the link up here somewhere. <laughs>
ordered six hot sugary donuts. Six? Not six? Well, I'm having one. <laughs> you know, I ordered some donuts in when I went to Skegness with my mum, and we had because it was the same, like you had a bargain for like five or six. And uh, my mum and me had one little story here for you. And then there was uh, two little girls and a mum going, "Oh, we want a donut. We want a donut." She's like, "Oh no, no, we can't. We can't. We can't afford a donut." So we gave them the bag of donuts. <laughs> so there you go. They were well chuffed. <laughs> one's all. One's all you need. Depends whether they're mini donuts or not. We'll have to see, we'll have to see. Super excited though, love a donut. Don't you love a hot donut? Can you eat a sugary donut without licking your lips? Maybe we should have that contest. Right, you're on, I'm taking you on. Right, you're on, it's a, it's a contest. Right, I'm gonna win. Who's gonna win? Comments down below. I want a donut as well. I like when I give you one napkin. I get one napkin. I don't know whether I'm in on the picture here because I can't see a man that's a lot taller than you, but we'll see. We're tearing off it. We're sharing a napkin. What is it with napkins in the UK? Paper napkins. Look at them. Oh man, just hold that in front of the camera. Look at them. Right, are we ready? Let's go. You go first. Here we go. What is better? Wait, wait, wait. Oh God, they're hot, they're hot. Oh man, it's hot. <laughs> Jeez, it is hot. Look at that. Look at that. Oh man, it is very hot. I'm digging in. There's nothing, wait a minute. Don't start without me. There's nothing more seasidey than eating a hot donut. You ready? Yes. Right, no licking your lips. Right. Oh, oh yeah. That oh, takes me back. Not really your lips. I want to eat my lips. I really want to eat my lips. Ah! Ah! No! I did it! I did it! No! I did it! No! No! I did it! No! Epic fail. Oh. I just did them. You, you, yeah, but you, you, you can after me. You won. Champion. No oh, man, that's not right. That's just wrong. I'm having another one. Yeah, I'm gonna have another one. I always say one's enough. Mm. But I didn't. Anyway, we'll eat these. See you in a minute. Hi. You all right? Obviously watches the channel. <laughs> right, they were absolutely amazing. Really were. I mean that, that is what a seaside town in the UK is all about. Hot donuts, ice creams, candy floss. You know, it's a bit more tasteful because up north in Blackpool, you get like willies on sticks and stuff like that. But you know all the cards that are from years ago, you know the little postcards that you used to get? Yeah. Where you'd get the guy with a little, you know, knotted handkerchief on his head and he'd be like zoink, looking at some like lady on the beach, whatever, you know, and some comments, whatever. It, it's about these kind of places. Yeah. That carry-on style theme postcard. I don't know whether they're allowed anymore now, whether it's politically correct or not. And also, uh, they filmed parts of Quadrophenia. Market. Did they? That just reminded me of along there. Look at that, I mean look, there's history there. Just take a look around. Right, my friends, beautiful day, not a cloud in the sky, absolutely, temperature is just perfect. There's a good vibe, everyone's having a fantastic time. 
I mean, it really is absolutely superb. Just, and listen, just listen to this. Just for, just grab yourself a drink, grab yourself a nice glass of wine, cup of tea, cup of coffee, whatever, or if it's evening, a beer, and just imagine, you're here. Right, my friends, you tell them. You lived here, I don't know. <laughs> no, we're coming coming into the old town now. And then just before you go into the old town, you've got a little piazza that they've created here. So all these local bars and um, coffee shops and restaurants, you can all sit outside and enjoy the sunshine. So old town, I mean, it just looks oldie worldy. It's probably not changed since you were a kid? No. Not much at all. Excellent. And then over there we've got the Turner. There's the Turner Centre just there. And oh. then there's the Harbour Arm behind us. Brilliant. Right, so we'll take a quick look before we go on to the fairground. Let's have a little quick look at Old Town, Turner Centre. And then up to, uh, what is it, Dreamland. Dreamland, where all your dreams come true. <laughs> yeah, come on, onwards. Okay, my friends, so we're gonna have a walk down into the old town. Looks really nice, that's your piazza there. Um, we're gonna have a walk around and then over to the, uh, to the Turner building. Just take a look at this. This old sweet shop here. This is fantastic. This is going to bring back some memories. Let me just cross over here and I'll show you this. That is brilliant, absolutely fantastic. I love places like that. Got a wine bar here, little lifeboat place, ale cider and wine. Absolutely fantastic, I can't believe this. This is I love Eric Morecambe, uh, obviously from Morecambe himself, but he actually held, there's a little blue plaque on here, and Eric Morecambe, who died, he was born in 1926 to 1994, uh, actually held his wedding reception in this building. Just take a look. I love the vibe around here. You literally come off of the actual seafront there and you, you've got all this old town here. It's just absolutely amazing. It's like a total polar opposite to over there. You've got the Wig and Pen, beautiful little pub there behind us just there. It's really nice and quiet, old buildings. That, by the way, I mean, I love Eric Morecambe. That was brilliant. Just, just look at these buildings here. Tell you 
that. You must have loved living here. Yeah, it's a, yeah I mean, it's just great to be by the sea, isn't it? And um, Yeah, it's, it, a lot of nostalgia here. I mean, you'll see that more when we get to Dreamland. They've kept, kept the old rides back in the day and they've refurbished so, them. So it's not like Blackpool where they've got all the new rides and all the, you know, the Thunder or whatever they're called and, you know, the, the big no. one. It's all the old rides totally refurbished and kept that nostalgia there. Because what, they, what happened was, in the 80s, uh, a company called Ben Bomb Brothers bought out Dreamland and they made it very retro. So you had the, you know, the looping roller coasters and everything was new. But it didn't work. So Dreamland bought it back and they've took it back to how it was. Oh, that is, That's great. Yeah. That is absolutely brilliant. Right, so where are we off to now? We're off to just quickly show the, uh, the Tur Turner Hall. Turner Centre. Turner Centre, then we're going to go over to Dreamland. So come on, onwards. So, Attic and Chips, 4 95 I mean, that's not bad. 4 95 Attic and Chips. We're not in London now. You're not in London now, yeah. <laughs> a, lot, a lot cheaper than London. <laughs> come on, onwards. Right, so this is the old Kent market then. A little double decker bus inside, we'll put our masks yeah. on and uh, show you around quickly. Come on, onwards. Actually, was really cool in there. You got like, I love it how they got the little pubs, like little micro pubs in there as well. You got your little bakery in there as well. It looked like it was hot in there. It was all like red lighting, but baking and stuff. It's absolutely superb. What a fantastic place. The old Kent Market. Highly, highly recommend that. Fresh bread daily as well. Fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. I love it. Come on, onwards. Okay, so this is the Turner Contemporary. We can't film in there for obvious reasons. You can't go around filming people's artwork. That's not allowed. <laughs> However, it is free to enter. You can take a look around. Lots and lots of different artwork. And it's something free to do. Lots of people are saying, you know, everything's expensive in the UK. Not if you look around. You can find free things to do. And I've walked around now, probably about a mile we've walked up here. And I've got to say, the price of things are not that bad. Fish and chips, very, very reasonable. Donuts, we got, did you get six? Six for four quid. Wow, six for four quid. What more do you want? Happy days. And if you can get a day like this, obviously down south it's a lot better. It's a bit more grim up north, isn't it? 
No. You don't want to get all the northerners now. <laughs> all the northerners now go, no, no, it's not, no, Whitby's better, Scarborough's better. You know what? I think this is fantastic. What an absolutely fantastic place. I love it. The vibe, everything. It's got it all. Especially with the uh, the old town as well, the piazza. I'm loving it. Now, I think you need to make my dreams come true at Dreamland. Easy, Tiger. Yeah, come on. Onwards. Okay, so that is the Sands Hotel back there. Apparently, really, really nice hotel to stay in and also a very, very good breakfast. So you tell me. Yeah, really, really nice there. Um, only opened uh, about five or six years ago, but um, really nice. So head over when you come down here, stay at the Sands Hotel, go and get the breakfast, comments down below, tell me what you think. Come on, onwards, we've got to get to that fairground. Oh, dreamland. Oh. Okay, my friends, this, this is where all your dreams come true. Yes, my mum, well, probably my nightmares actually, because I'm not really one for fairground rides, but we're going to give it a go. And if it's the oldie worldy fairground rides, nostalgia it should bring back some memories of screams gone by <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to change over now to the little insta 360 camera and we're going to go in to dreamland are you ready yeah come on i was going to say let's do this i was going to say that as well i thought that's daniel's i'll say nothing because i always say the wrong thing <laughs> <laughs> come on onwards Right, so here we are at Dreamland. Unfortunately, our dreams today are not going to come true because the rides aren't open until the 10th of July because they've been closed for, mm. uh, I won't say the word, just in case, you know, I'd say it on camera, but you know, the current situation. But we can have a look around, so we're going to go and take you a look around. The arcades are open and we maybe, hopefully, might even get a candy floss, what do you reckon? Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, so let's have a let's have a wander around. We'll show you what it's like. Unfortunately, no rides. Actually, I'm not that disappointed because I don't like rides. But we'll, we'll show you what it's like. It'd be nice to see the old rides. Come on, onwards. Quiet voices in the night. Time is running out of sight. Lonely wind is passing by. To carry all the whispers that it finds The walls are listening when we talk Making echoes as we walk There's no one left but you and me It's like a made up place that only we can see Hold my hand and hear the words I say Close your eyes and let us fade away Build a secret place for you and me Let our minds be caught up in a dream Right, my friends, there you go. Well, that was Dreamland. Actually, it was a bit surreal because it was so, so silent in there and quiet. Obviously, we've got music on it over the video, but you can imagine when it's really, really packed. And looking at them old pictures that I've just shown you at the end there, you can imagine if it was like black and white. In fact, I might put a little thing over it. Do you know what I mean? I might put a little, uh, you know, special effects. So it's oldie worldy kind of thing. Yeah. We'll see anyway on the edit. But absolutely fantastic. Well, that was Margate, my friends. Absolutely superb. I loved it. Fantastic weather. Everything just about it is great. Love the old town. Love the actual walk around. 
the beach you've got a nice sandy beach absolutely fantastic you know what there's nothing that nothing wrong with a staycation really Oh. Do you know what? I mean, I film in Spain and all over the road, all over the road, all over the world. But I tell you what, you can keep your Costa Brava. Because I'm telling you, mate, I'd rather have a day down Margate with all my family. <laughs> there you go. What more do you want? Anyway, my friends, that is all from us today. We were going to go and get fish and chips. In hello, hello. <laughs> everybody's everybody's friendly down here. There you go. It's superb. We were going to go and have fish and chips, uh, and I was we are going to go and have fish and chips actually, but that's going to be in the next vlog because it's a pretty pretty long vlog today, fairly long. We've got everything in there, so we're now going to go to Ramsgate, which will be in the next vlog. So don't miss us, guys, in the next vlog where we're off to Ramsgate to what's the name of the place? The Harbour Brasserie. The Harbour Brasserie, where we're going to have fish and chips. Famous, famous fish and chip place. So join us on that one in the next vlog. Don't forget to subscribe to this guy, Darren John. His uh, link will be on the end of this vlog. And above all, my friends, I keep saying stay safe, but... Well, keep staying safe, but, you know, yeah. we're getting a bit more free now, aren't we? Getting a bit more free. Uh, as long as you stay in your own country. Anyway, fantastic my friends, that is all today and I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah. Goodbye.